The US Federal Aviation Administration FAA just wrapped up its investigation into SpaceX's explosive second flight of the Starship Mega Rocket. On February 26th, the FAA announced the closure of the probe, marking a significant development in the world of space exploration. That test mission, which took off from SpaceX's Starbase site in South Texas on November 18th, certainly left an impact. Literally, two bangs echoed through the atmosphere as both of Starship stages exploded high above Earth approximately 3.5 minutes and 8 minutes after liftoff, respectively. Since then, SpaceX has been diligently preparing for Starship Flight No. 3, adhering to their fast-paced build, fly and iterate philosophy. However, it's important to note that today's news doesn't mean clearance for immediate launch as emphasized by the FAA. So, what did the FAA conclude and what does this mean for the next Starship flight? Let's dive in. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA, has concluded that SpaceX needs to make necessary improvements before its next launch. In an email statement today, FAA officials specified that SpaceX must implement all corrective measures and obtain a modified license from the FAA. This modified license must address various safety, environmental and regulatory concerns. The FAA is currently assessing SpaceX's request for the license modification. However, they expect SpaceX to provide additional information before reaching a final decision. The investigation into the recent mishap led by SpaceX itself highlighted 17 corrective actions. The FAA has approved these actions with 7 focusing on the Super Heavy first stage booster and 10 on the Starship upper stage. For the Super Heavy Booster, the corrective actions involve redesigning vehicle hardware, updating control systems models, re-evaluating engine analyses based on flight data, and adjusting engine control algorithms. On the other hand, modifications for the Starship upper stage include hardware redesigns, operational adjustments, updates to flammability analysis, installation of additional fire protection measures, and improvements in guidance and modeling. The Starship rocket by SpaceX is a colossal and powerful creation, standing at about 400 feet tall when fully assembled. It's made of stainless steel and is designed to be entirely reusable, meaning it can be used repeatedly for space exploration missions. Elon Musk, the founder and CEO of SpaceX, envisions even taller versions in the future. This massive rocket is intended to play a crucial role in humanity's efforts to establish settlements on the Moon and Mars, as well as undertake other ambitious space exploration ventures. NASA, the US space agency, has chosen Starship to be the primary spacecraft for its Artemis program, which aims to return astronauts to the Moon. Starship embarked on its maiden flight in April 2023, encountering several challenges along the way. One major issue was the failure of its two stages to separate properly, leading to the craft's destruction about four minutes after liftoff. However, the second flight in November showed significant improvement. The stages separated as planned, and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk mentioned that the upper stage would likely have reached orbit if it had carried a payload. He explained that the detonation of the upper stage in the first flight was due to the venting of liquid oxygen, which wouldn't have happened if the rocket had been carrying a satellite. Following the investigation into the first flight, which concluded in September of the previous year, Starship took to the skies again in November. The FAA, responsible for regulating space launches, noted that compared to the first flight, the second investigation required fewer corrective actions, 63 after the first flight compared to 17 after the November launch. With the progress made during the second flight, it's expected that the wait for the next launch won't be as long. SpaceX has been diligently addressing the issues identified, paving the way for smoother future missions. In other news, China is gearing up for an ambitious year in space exploration with plans to conduct a record-breaking 100 orbital launches in 2024. This information comes from the country's primary space contractor, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC. CASC intends to carry out approximately 70 launches to deploy over 290 spacecraft into orbit. The rest of the launches will be handled by China's expanding commercial launch sector. These plans are detailed in CASC's annual Blue Book, which was released on February 26th. While the document doesn't provide a complete launch schedule, it gives a broad overview of the planned activities. Some of the major missions on the agenda include sending two crewed missions and two cargo missions to the Tiangong Space Station. 
Additionally, the first half of the year will witness the launch of the Qiao 2 lunar relay satellite and Chang'e 6, which marks China's first ever mission to collect samples from the far side of the moon. Other priorities highlighted in the Blue Book include advancing China's crewed lunar landing program with the goal of landing astronauts on the moon before 2030. The country is also focusing on deep space exploration, deploying geostationary radar satellites, developing a new crew spacecraft, and planning missions like Tianwen-2 to study near-Earth asteroids in 2025 and Chang'e-7 to explore the lunar south pole in 2026. In addition to the major missions mentioned earlier, China has some exciting plans in store for its space program. They include launching an ocean salinity detection satellite, a collaborative project called the Sinofranco Space-Based Multiband Astronomical Variable Objects Monitor SVOM, the Einstein probe, and the China Seismo Electromagnetic Satellite 2 in partnership with Europe. Another notable mission is the retrievable Shijian-19 Space Science Satellite. Also, keep an eye out for the debut flights of the Long March 6C and Long March 12 rockets. This planned record-breaking 100 launches mark a significant increase from the previous national record of 67 launches set in 2023. Last year, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC, conducted 50 of these launches, with 17 carried out by commercial entities. Despite setting a target of over 60 launches in 2023, as stated in a January 2023 announcement, CASC fell short of achieving this goal. To accommodate the anticipated increase in launch activity, new sea and commercial spaceports are being developed at Heiyang and Wenchang, respectively. These infrastructure developments will play a crucial role in supporting the growth of China's launch capabilities. Additionally, CASC aims to complete several commercial launches, including rideshare missions, as part of its objectives for the upcoming year. Let's delve deeper into China's upcoming space missions and the innovative rockets they are developing. One exciting addition to their lineup is the Long March 12, crafted by CASC's Shanghai Academy of Spaceflight Technology, SAST. Formerly known as the XLV, this rocket will take off from the fresh commercial spaceport in Wenchang. What's cool about the Long March 12 is that it's China's first 3.8 meter diameter launcher. It boasts a hefty capacity, capable of hoisting 10 tons to low Earth orbit or 6 tons to a sun synchronous orbit 700 kilometers above. Now, another rocket making its debut this year is the Long March 6C. It's a tweaked version of the Long March 6A sans its solid side boosters. Initially, CASC had slated its inaugural launch for 2023, but it's set to lift off this year instead. In addition, there's buzz about the Long March 5, China's largest rocket. According to China Space News, CASC has lined up four launches of this mighty vehicle in 2024, followed by five more in 2025. And that's not even counting launches of its low Earth orbit variant, the Long March 5B. The Long March 5 has quite the track record since its first liftoff in 2016, with seven successful launches so far. However, it did face a setback with a 900-day grounding after its second launch encountered issues. Among its 2024 missions are the recent launch of the TJS-11 classified satellite and the upcoming Chang'e mission expected to blast off in May. Let's dive into the upcoming missions for China's Tiangong Space Station and the exciting plans in the commercial space sector. Firstly, for the Tiangong Space Station, there are some key missions lined up. The Tiangshao 7 cargo spacecraft already launched in January, with Tiangshao 8 set to follow around August. Shenzhou 18 is scheduled for the first half of the year, aiming to replace the current crew of Shenzhou 17. Later in the year, Shenzhou 19 will embark on a six month long crewed mission, taking over from Shenzhou 18. Now, let's talk about CASC's plans for a cutting-edge commercial remote sensing satellite system. This system, starting with SuperView Gaojing satellites, is set to include at least 28 satellites in total. These satellites will feature high-resolution optical payloads, wide-width optical payloads, high-resolution radar payloads, and other types of commercial remote sensing satellites. They'll not only support the Beidou GNSS system, but also integrate satellite applications into emerging fields to bolster key regional economic development. In addition to these ambitious projects, CASC aims to continue making significant contributions to bolstering China's aerospace capabilities and supporting the country's military efforts, as highlighted in a recent press conference. 
Now shifting gears to the commercial sector, while the Blue Book didn't delve into specific plans, various statements from commercial actors shed light on what's to come. Landspace, for instance, plans to launch three Shuk-2 Metalox rockets this year, building on the success of two launches in 2023. They'll also likely conduct more tests for their stainless steel Shuk-3 rocket. Galactic Energy is eyeing at least 10 launches of the Series 1 solid rocket alongside the debut of the Carolox Palace 1. Space Pioneer is gearing up for the maiden flight of the Tianlong 3 around July, while Deep Blue Aerospace's Nebula 1 reusable rocket could take flight in the latter half of 2024. Moreover, CAS Space, X Space, and Orion Space have various plans for solid rocket launches. Notably, several Chinese commercial firms are racing to develop and test reusable launch vehicles, indicating an exciting era of innovation in China's space industry. Numerous cities and provinces in China are also actively fostering their own commercial space ventures and other cutting-edge technologies, with cities like Beijing and Shanghai rolling out action plans to bolster their commercial space ecosystems. Exciting times lie ahead for China's space exploration endeavors. So, when do you think the FDA will grant SpaceX approval to continue its groundbreaking test flight? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.